Hello, in this short video, I explain the binary adder. Both the half adder and the full adder are explained. The first thing we need to do is to know how to add. We can add 0 and 0, 0 and 1, or 1 and 1. Now if we add two ones, we get 2, and 2 cannot fit within the adder, so we have a carry as shown in the diagram. Now if we inspect, we will see that this is a half adder because it has no input. So this is only suitable for adding at the very bottom of a multi-bit number. Also, we will see if we inspect this carefully that the sum function is an XOR gate and the carry function is an AND gate. Do you see that? Now, we can easily put this onto a truth table as two separate functions where we have the XOR and the AND on the same truth table as shown. Having done that, we need to be able to draw this circuit, which just is two functions, XOR and AND, with the same input, A and B, as shown. Now, we can take two half adders and combine them to make a full adder. That would seem to make sense. So first we look at the truth table. Now the truth table for the full adder, the first half of it is the same as the half adder. And the second half of it at the bottom shows that we have in the carry an OR function taking place. Notice that we have divided our table into two. So first we draw two half adders as shown. Then we see that if we look at the sum function of our full adder, it's actually the same as a three input XOR gate. So we can take our two XOR gates from our two half adders and we can connect them together to make a three input XOR gate which is going to give us our final sum. Now, all it is required to complete our full adder now is to connect the two carries from each half adder with an OR gate as shown. Thank you for watching and we will hope that you subscribe and ring the bell for many more videos in electronics. Both digital and analog electronics are covered. Please check my playlist for other videos and thank you for watching.